Mocha, do you think internal turmoil will develop in the Gulf regions because of their close ties with Israel? I think most most countries, same countries, leaders are cutting their ties with Israel. Uh, Israel, I think, is in deep shit. It is about to commit. Uh, Israel has committed suicide. It's going to see mass outflow of Israelis. Israel economic prosperity is now down the toilet. It it's going to have social issues, economic issues, political issues. Israel just committed suicide. It's done. The Israel of three months ago is over. Four months ago is over. The, Anybody that thought the future of Israel was looking bright four months ago should be reevaluating the analysis. Wall Street corporations are not. For example, Intel just said, oh, yeah, they're going to build, they're going to invest $25 billion in Israel to build a chip plant 25 miles away from Gaza, right? Well, if you know your history of IBM and Nazi Germany, that's the future of Intel and Israel, right? Look into the future, look into the history of how IBM helped Nazi Germany commit genocide, right? And that's direct, identical, right? Intel with and other Wall Street companies with Israel, right? And one thing I'll, I'll mention regarding Israel and Gaza and connecting it up to World War II, right? You talk to a lot of people about World War II, about the Holocaust and genocide and World War I with the uh, Turks committing genocide and Armenians and many genocides throughout history, right? And a lot of people have the gall to come out and say, well, if we knew we would have done something, we wouldn't have supported it, we would resist this genocide. How could people living that period not see what was happening? How could they, how could they not resist it? How could they support it? How could they continue to do business with regimes that commit genocide and all that jazz right because someone say well because the information wasn't there right it took a long time for information to flow to you know if atrocities were being committed in nazi germany nazi occupied europe it took weeks months for that information or years for that information to filter out into the united states otherwise the united states americans would have done something much earlier much earlier right which is bullshit, by the way. Charlie Chaplin spoke out against us, right? And we know, taking the present of what's happening with Israel and Gaza, right? what Israel is doing in Gaza, that majority of the population, well, many people in our societies are cowards to their core, right? Because you cannot deny that a genocide is being committed atrocities are being committed but many people are fine and dandy with their lives without resisting without speaking out some being even foolish enough supporting this genocide right supporting this genocide because their leaders their politicians the propagandists told them that it's okay right that it's okay right so keep that in mind right look around you those people dancing on the titanic they are cowards they are fools right those people supporting genocide they are cowards they are fools there are many cowards and fools in our society right make sure you do not become one of them because i have no idea how the fuck you would live with yourself in when you find out what the truth is which is what's happening right now in israel by the way suicide rate in israel is through the roof now right there are many israelis that have gone but have been deployed in gaza soldiers that have been deployed in gaza they're watching their people the chosen people commit atrocities right some of them dancing and laughing and singing as they do it all of them are not like that and that's having a psychological effect on them right and it's destroying them annihilating them their their spirits right some of them are going back home killing themselves some of them are going back home and saying i'm out of israel fuck this place right fuck these genocidal maniacs okay israel is done 
Israel is done. It will never ever be what the fanatics want it to be. Well, maybe the fanatics actually want it to be exactly what it is, but it will never be prosperous the way they dream it will be, right? It will drain the United States, the Western world of funds. It will, if we allow our leaders to continue to support this genocide, we will go down with Israel economically, spiritually, financially, geopolitically, right? But Israel committed mass suicide. Mourn for Israel. Really, I'm not kidding you. Pity them. Pity the fools because they are fools. They, they belong to a cult and it was a death cult. And we are witnessing probably the largest death cult in human history commit mass suicide. Unfortunately, they're committing atrocities as they do it. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. 